In this video, we will go through an overview on some of the key concepts of ProjectWise documents. Each of the concepts shown in this video has a separate detailed video later in the course. When a file is uploaded from the file system into ProjectWise, it becomes a document. Depending on how the document is created, it may or may not have an actual file attached, and at a minimum, it will contain standard metadata such as its name and description. The documents can also contain metadata like associated application, document status, document creation date, which is the date the file was first imported into ProjectWise, and custom environment attributes. You can also create a placeholder document, which is simply a container of metadata that has no electronic file attached. Placeholder documents can be used to represent electronic files you are planning to import into ProjectWise, or hard copy documents or drawings that maybe just exist in a filing cabinet somewhere. For more information on placeholder documents, there is a designated video on placeholder documents. The files themselves are stored on a file server, whereas document metadata is stored in the ProjectWise database. ProjectWise stores far more information about documents than a traditional file system. These properties are accessible in several different ways from within ProjectWise. Documents in ProjectWise contain metadata about the file in the form of general properties and custom environment attributes. General properties such as document description, associated application, document status, document creation date, the date that the file was first imported into ProjectWise. Custom environment attributes these are user-defined document properties that tag your documents such as the naming convention, document title, scale, sheet size, author, approver and all other information that you usually want to have in your drawing title block or technical specification papers. These attributes ensure that you will be able to find your documents in ProjectWise. It is easy to identify the documents when there are assigned attribute codes. When attributes are properly mapped, you should be able to generate good reports in ProjectWise Project Insights or export a register from ProjectWise Explorer that can help to track the progress of the document deliverables. They can also be used for attribute exchanges. These attributes are a great help in document searches as they can easily be retrieved and disseminated. Since these attributes are tagged in your document, it helps to manage the integrity of your document, your versions are controlled, and the user actions are recorded. These can also be used for attribute exchange in applications such as AutoCAD, MicroStation, and even in Microsoft Office Word and Excel. Now let's look at how to review document properties. To access properties not shown in the document window, you may either view them within the preview pane press the spacebar or right click and select properties from the menu. There are three ways you can view document properties in ProjectWise Explorer. Document window pane. The document pane lists the documents and the properties of those documents. The preview pane is another location where you can view the properties of the selected documents, 
which will typically include more information. When View Preview Pane is on, and when a document, folder or project is selected, a preview pane displays in the lower portion of the document list containing more information. Tabs on the preview pane show various properties of the selected item. Properties dialog. Finally, the properties window allows you to view and edit the document metadata. There are separate videos on each of these areas in ProjectWise Explorer which will give a more in-depth understanding of navigating those areas. Let's have a quick look at the properties window of the document. To open the properties window, select the document, right click and select properties. Please note you can also select a document and click the spacebar to open the properties window. In this video we will just discuss the general attributes and more attributes tabs. The general tab of the document properties dialog and the document properties tab of the preview pane both display the general properties of the selected document. The main difference is you can edit general document properties from the document properties dialog but not from the document properties tab of the preview pane. Also the document properties tab of the preview pane displays a thumbnail image of the selected document if one exists while the document properties dialog does not. The attributes and more attributes tabs allow you to view the attribute fields available in the selected environment as has been defined by your administrator in the data source. The attributes that appear on these tabs depend on what attributes your administrator has created in the environment in ProjectWise Administrator. Finally, the documents are supported by an audit trail, which provides you a list of all activities that have taken place. These reports can be customised, printed and saved to a file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.